Welcome to our series about Quarkus and MQTT. Uh, now we want to continue with sending a JSON data via the queue. Yeah. So how can we do that? Um, so if we have a look again at our uh, queue here, instead of hello world, we now want to send something like uh, ID one and M. So, like this. So we send this here, and on this side we just received the, the raw message as a string. And um, as of now, we do the same thing in our um, in our service here in the MQTT receiver. We get the measurements, and here we just get uh, this as a string. Yeah. And would, would that also be the way that the IoT devices send the data as JSON, or do they use something else? It depends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so basically they could just um, construct this string and send it. Um, but often uh, you also have that you, that you actually send a message in a different format, not really JSON. So for example, uh, if you use LoRaWAN, then you can only send like 55 bytes. Mm -hmm. So you would not want to use JSON because all these letters here are bytes that you don't want yeah. to send. Uh, but you use a binary format. Um, but the receiving um, gateway that gets the message, the binary message, decodes it and puts it in some nice JSON format. Okay. And then you can receive it as JSON again. Okay. So um, we have the string already here. So we can use that. Um, we want to decode JSON. So what we do is we inject the object mapper that we already have for, because we use Jackson. And uh, now we can just uh, read value. And now we need a, a data class. Measurement, what did I call it? Uh, device. Device ID and temperature. Device ID string and then load. Okay. So we read the measurement from the byte array. We import this extension function. And it doesn't need a string. It can directly read the bytes. Yeah, directly read the bytes, yeah. Um, and uh, this is our measurement. Looker, missing. Okay, let's restart because we added a new class. That's, yeah. that's something, at least with Kotlin, that usually breaks the build or the hot reload. Um, I mean, it's that fast. It doesn't really. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, we publish this. We receive here, receive raw message data and oh, receive. Wait a second, wait a second. I'm in the uh, way again. So now I'm gone. Now you can show it. Yeah. So uh, we received the raw message data um, as uh, where we just displayed a string and then we uh, parsed it and we uh, print the measurement and this is the default to string of the data class. This object mapper thing is super nice. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the JSON <laughs> mapper you just get from Quarkus because you have Jackson there. Yeah. And didn't have to annotate anything in the data class, just... Yeah, it's using also the Kotlin extension for Jackson, so it can directly also check if a value is there, for example, if because I these are not optional. So if I publish this, then I get a big fat exception here. <laughs> because, um, yeah, Couldn't. we see here this was yeah. the data and... Uh, Missing Kotlin parameter exception because somewhere in that long therefore null somewhere measurement value failed for property device ID <laughs> that was fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you were you, you you didn't know what you were looking for so yeah i saw them a lot <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah this is this is good because in our software we can be sure if we get a measurement it looks like this yeah so let's have a nicer one again oh. did it break the connection yeah you should probably try catch this here to not break mm -hmm. the the connection how would you then reset it because you didn't configure anything or have something at hand let's say to say reconnect or something um in case you shouldn't happen. uh let it come to this okay <laughs> um yeah so if it works again nice uh that's how you um receive and now let's also have a look how we send mm -hmm. um let's say maybe you can um, uh, yeah make it bigger again screen this one, yeah. um now let's extend this and actually the only thing we need to do this is even a bit simpler uh, let's pull this glass out. So we have it here and then in the sender measurement and here. And now we just need to put in the measurement here. It's a bit too fast, maybe oh. to explain what oh, you're doing. Oh, so sorry, sorry guys uh getting <laughs> uh in the flow <Yeah>. um <laughs> the refactoring flow yes um so we have our mqtt sender and as you remember we have this emitter here where we can send stuff to yeah before we had string there. before we had string here um but you can also pass in objects data classes mm -hmm. and uh it will automatically um chase uh chasing them uh so we don't need to do any fancy stuff here. Okay. Um, we just put in the object here and for testing, I'm now going to my um, to my rest endpoint where we can trigger this and we put in the message and uh, 14. Ah, Kotlin. Don't bother me. What is the ah? Uh, it, it wants if you don't have the f then it's a double and downcasting from a double to a float is something so where you lose um, accuracy we don't have to do that yeah it's it's a safety measure so that you have to say you want to lose the accuracy so i find it a bit Swift, bothering it knows if you specified you have float then you put yeah. in float and if you have it yeah it, it, that's why it, it asks you because it knows it's a float and it tells you hey you try to pass a double into a float yeah so on, on swift the type is determined yeah. from the type you specified not ah, from yeah. what you write yeah down. yeah um <laughs> <laughs> the point was yeah, that's, that's actually <laughs> something that bothered me a, a couple yeah. of times already but it's also not the big thing so um again we want to look here we want to send our test message to for example and we receive the test mm -hmm. message to here with temperature 14 and Where is the 15.2 coming from? Is, did someone stole our... That was the before that what we... Here. So. Ah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> and, uh, but so in theory, if someone would like watch along and... Yeah, they could spam our Use us the now. same queue. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> um, why do we tell such stuff? <laughs> um, so we received the measurement also here again. So we sent it. And we in the same caucus we received it from the queue again. Mm, because we are still yeah. listening to the wildcard. Yes. If you remember here, we are listening to uh, the wildcard, and this is under the wildcard. So we also receive the message. So we put it to the queue and then we get it back from the queue. And you see the time difference is like I'm again in the way. Uh, uh, now you can like non existent. Okay. <laughs> So in, in the you, you could use it to call an, another function in your Quarkus. Yeah. Um, 
So for example, if you have um, a load balance system um, and you uh, need to trigger a long running task, uh, you could put it into, into the queue. And if you're the service that is trying to run this task dies, then you can make it that the queue is informed that it was not acknowledged the message and uh, it retries. But mm -hmm. if you want to do that, uh, Kafka is maybe also better because then you can share stuff and it's just more advanced. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that was uh, sending and receiving JSON. Again, super simple. Yes, super simple. If you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think even though you didn't have to do anything special, the only thing is the object mapper you need to know to, to yeah. bring that in. But when sending, you just say, okay, instead of string, I'm sending now that data class. Yeah. And it does everything. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Yeah. So, again, quite uh, easy stuff with Quarkus. <laughs> I'm always surprised when you show these things how easy it is. Yes, to, to do this stuff. That's why I love Quarkus. I always thought that gateway is so difficult, and <laughs> you can make it difficult <laughs> if you stand in your own way. But yeah. Okay, then thanks for watching this <clears throat> part about uh, MQTT and Quarkus, and uh, how to send and receive JSON. See you yep. next time. <laughs>